So what what kind of after you know the time at Ditchwich and, and learning so much and getting into leadership, what was that switch that when you were kind of towards the end and you think, ah, oh, okay, I'm done now, I want to go do something else. Yeah. Why not go run a different company? Why go into leadership stuff as well? Because because there's a lot of stuff that you teach now right. based on leadership and how companies should structure and culture and yeah, uh, there's so a service element to a it. A couple aspects of that. First of all. When you work for a company as great as Ditchwich was, um, the idea of going somewhere and sort of replicating what you just did, you're like, I was already at a great company. It can't get any better, right? Mm-hmm. And that was sort of my feeling. Uh, the second part was, uh, maybe it's ego. I don't know what it is. I always wanted to own my own company. And that was never going to be my company. It was a great family that owned it. And uh, so... And the other thing that happens, all of us, when, once you hit, I don't know what age, 40-some years old, you start sort of figuring out, I'm not very good at these things, but I'm pretty good at these things, right? Mm-hmm. And that sort of hit me. Um, I would have never guessed I was pretty good at strategy and some things like that. And uh, so my days at Ditchwich, we were sort of stuck on, I don't know, $120 million for many, many years. And not me, but the team around us when we kind of got where we were driving things a little bit. Uh, we were kind of like, okay, how do you get 1,600 employees all on the same page to drive something? And that's when I became just a passionate student of strategy. And so we kind of figured it out, and uh, we grew from $120 million to $350 million in about five years. Yeah. And that's when I went, oh, that was fun. And secondly, you only do strategy once a year. I'm like, I'd love to do that every day. And so that was part of what, Mm -hmm. you know, wanting to own my own company, feeling really comfortable with the idea of helping people with strategy, having enough relationships around the world to maybe be a foundation for some of that. Mm -hmm. And so I made, made the leap. And scary as hell because that first three years, you know, I lost about a half a million dollars. And I did not have a half a million dollars to lose, and so I only had about three hundred thousand to lose, and lost all of that. Mm-hmm. And so, but I find most people in leadership roles, if they haven't been to hell and back, they're probably not as good a leader. And so I wear that a little bit as like, yep, been there, right? I know what that's like. And mm-hmm. so, uh, and most great leaders, if you get them to be a little bit transparent, they've got stories like that where they just. And you can't quite explain what happened or how it happened or any of that. But, uh, you know, once you, you just sort of reset, okay, that's not working the way it's doing, let's switch. And finally things really started, you know, probably about 18 years ago, 17, 18 years ago, it started really clicking. And we've been building this and then subsequently Cortado ever yeah. since. So. Yeah. It's fascinating. I mean, it's... You know, nothing ever was it. Nothing worth doing is ever easy, right? You know, when you right. go through it, and you know, part of you sometimes was probably come home and thinking, I don't want to feel defeated, but that someone, you know, was there any opportunities as you were building this that a corporate job was like, hey, I know, like this isn't going well, come over here, and there's yes. a part of you that didn't give up, but I'm fascinated to know why. Um, it, probably the same reason, you know, I did get courted really heavily by one mm-hmm. organization. You know, they came and picked me up on their corporate jet and took me to their location and kind of wined and dined me for a couple of days. And I kind of looked around, I'm like, I've already done this. It was, a, you know, it was literally like stepping away from one thing and other than maybe the colors on the walls, it, it was kind of the same thing. I'm like, that's not, that's not what I want to do. And so I say, stuck to my guns and kept going with what I'm going and I don't, it'd be really hard to pull me out of what I'm doing right now. I've had so much fun. Yeah.